Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to introduce the Camunda Google Spreadsheet Connector. We will see how to read data from a spreadsheet and also how to update it. As a prerequisite, we need a Google account and a Google Authentication token. As for the Google account, in case you don't have one, just go to this page. Click on the Create Account button and follow the procedure. As for the authentication, Google Sheets Connector currently supports two methods for authentication and authorization, based on short-lived JWT bearer token and based on refresh token. You can check the Camunda documentation here and follow the suggested links in order to get a token. Once you get it, you can save it as a secret on your Camunda cluster. Now open your cluster, go to your Connector Secrets page and create a new secret. Let's call it Sheets Token and paste the token into the value text box. Now that the prerequisites are fulfilled, we can focus on our use case. Let's consider this sheet, where we have the subjects of a student with their grades. We want our process to read these grades and then update the sheet with an overall result, like failed or passed, based on the grades. Let's switch to the Camunda Web Modeler to create a process. We add a task and we click on the spanner in order to change the type to Sheets Connector. We call the task Get Subject Results and we end the process. As a first iteration, it will suffice. Let's configure the task now. We focus on the property panel to the right. As for the authentication, we can use Bearer Token and we can use the token we just inserted as a secret with this syntax. In the Select Operation tab, there are several options. We can create and delete spreadsheets, add columns and rows. In our example, we get the worksheet data. In the Operation Details, we can insert the spreadsheet ID that we can grab from the spreadsheet itself here, and similarly, we can get the sheet name. In the output mapping, we can just map a variable. We call it result. That is what I do when I start to work with a connector and I don't know its response. I will execute it once and then I will filter the response saving only what I need configuring a result expression. So let's deploy and run the process. We access the process instance from the Camunda Operate tool and zoom on the response. As you see, not surprisingly, it reflects the data in the sheet. Now we need to assess whether the student is eligible to advance to the next year by counting the subjects that are under the grade 6. We can say, for example, that if there are two subjects or more under 6, then the student will fail, otherwise the student will pass. We move back to our modeler and configure the result expression. We can create a variable called unsatisfactory that keeps the number of unsatisfactory subjects. We navigate the response of the connector, we get the response object and the grades are on the second row. We filter to keep the items that have grade less than 6 and we count them. Similarly, we can create another variable, overall result, that will test how many unsatisfactory grades are there. If there are two or more, then it will be failed, otherwise it will be passed. If you are not very familiar with the field language, you can then refer to the documentation here. Let's redeploy and run the process again, and in Operate we can see that for this data there are two unsatisfactory subjects, and so the overall result is failed. Now we can update the sheet with this overall result. So let's add a new spreadsheet connector task and configure it. The authentication is the same. As for the select operation, we choose add values to spreadsheet and in operation details, we pass the information like previously. As for the cell ID, we can put this one, A4, and in the value, the variable with the global grade, overall result. Since it's a variable, we need to click on the FX button here. Finally, we add a result variable that we call result. Okay, 
we can now redeploy and re-execute the process. After a brief moment, we observe updates being applied to our spreadsheet. In fact, our process instance on Operate has completed smoothly. That's it! Now it's your turn!